real quick in one of the absolutely wildest unhinged rants of the Mike Pillow era. He went on TV after a brief hiatus, his own show. I think it's important to say we're doing a class action lawsuit against all machines. Yeah, not that. But he now is claiming to have people and cameras watching polling places in every county, as well as so-called cyber guys that can look inside voting machines in real time. If he's lying, then he's very ill. If he's telling the truth, these are probably crimes. Listen to this. This election, and I'm telling everyone out there, we are watching from every angle. We, there's people in every state, every county, every precinct, Brandon. Remember, you, they might think you can't look and see what's going inside that black box, but we can now in real time through something called the Edison Report, everybody. Right. We have cyber guys watching this. We, I looked at a thing today. It was on my, my Twitter back from November of 2020, <laughs> and they showed CNN 20,000 votes dropping right off of Donald Trump's total in real time. You guys, votes don't go in reverse. These are computer manipulation <laughs> algorithms. So what I'm telling you is this election, it's all eyes. We have all the camera angles. Now, why, now everyone would say, well, Mike, why are you telling the bad guys right now? Well, I'm telling them, Brad. They are the bad guys. Because the way I look at it, we're gonna. It's gonna be a win-win. Because the ones where we can override the algorithms are gonna be there. They're gonna win. And then also the ones they don't. All of it. You were. We got it all under camera. Well, maybe this time around, the judges and the the left the left media and maybe even the right media, Fox News and Newsmax, will actually report. If there's machines that are involved in this election to steal another election. Yeah. Listen, I don't know whether he thinks he's telling the truth or whether he's delusional or whether it is the truth and he's admitting to crimes. I don't know about any of it, but we need to get beyond this type of thinking for every pillow man. There are 10,000, 50,000, 250,000 people who literally believe this stuff. Is it a million? I don't know. It is a sickness. It is a sickness. And for everybody who's been asking me, hey, you know, David, Mike Pillow, when you interviewed him a couple of weeks ago, he said he was going to send you some free pillows for you to try them. Did he ever do it? No, he did not. So that also. But by the way, I'm very happy with the pillows I have, but I would have been curious to try the Mike pillows. He also did not do that. 